guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic. Thank you for asking. It is bright and early in the morning, but I mean bright and early it is 12, 16 p.m. Anyway, my New Year's resolution. I've never made a video about this, but my New... <laughs> didn't touch it and I just needed a quick swig for my pill. <laughs> anyway, so I, I never made a video about my new resolution, but... Yeah, me either. <laughs> Keep going, Kate. Anyway, so um, I never made a video about my new resolution, which was to write down every dream I had. Now, I've tried to do this every year for the past, like, five years, but... I end up failing after like the fourth day because I'm just like, eh, I won't write this one down. And then it's like, eh, I won't write this one down. So I did. What do you want? Go away. Oh! So I decided, you know, this year I was actually going to try to stick to it. Yeah. And so far, I'm doing pretty darn good. I've written down every dream I can remember right when I wake up. And it's like the middle of February. So I thought it'd be a cool idea if every month I read out all the dreams I had of the month prior. So, this time I'm going to be reading, I guess, January's dream journal. Da da da. These dreams are freaking weird. Like, I, sometimes it's really weird, but normal. Like, it's like a normal weird. You'll see what I mean. But other times it gets like really, really descriptive, and you're like, how do you remember this? And I'm just like, I don't know. This is why I get nightmares. So January 1st, I was hanging out with my friend Matt. I parked outside and Thor was with me. We go to leave and I put Thor in the car and then go back inside to say bye to these two kids that Matt's parents were fostering. I go outside and my car is gone and I freak out and for some reason I can't call for help. Some of these aren't going to be that exciting and also can I just point out, when I wake up I'm not fully awake and so when I'm writing this down I'm like, the green was a brown purpley number and I screamed for help and it turned into a lobster. So it's not going to make much sense grammatically and in general. Let's go on. January 2nd. There's two parts to this. First part was something about Ryan Seacrest. I don't know. Second part. I was outside at this mansion's party trying to fix cars and park them the right way. I go over and Chris Hemsworth is there because he's upset because he's about to get shipped back to Australia unless he remarries someone American. We were friends and he had a slight interest in each other. He pulls out a ring and puts on my finger and it has something like I will love you forever and always engraved on it. It was a bland ring, really, but I was excited and nervous because there was a ring on my finger. I was getting married. OMG. Then we go inside and all of One Direction was there and I was really good friends with Harry. So I walked in and we all sat down and Harry notices the ring and was acting all sad and he pulls me aside and goes, you're actually going through with it? And I look in his eyes and he looks so concerned and upset. Sounds like a fan fiction. Thank you, brain. Anyway, and I nodded and he goes, I love you, you know that? And my heart does a flippy thing because I'm freaking engaged to Chris Hemsworth and Harry Styles wants to be with me too. I look back up at him and then we hug and then I woke up. January 6th, in a Minecraft world, built a house in a cave. It started to collapse and lava poured out. We, I don't know who, but friends, started to walk around and down and up hills and stuff to find a perfect house spot. This sounds oddly familiar. Um, we found a potential place, but there were chibi looking giant creepers and slimes. Then normal sized skeletons came out and we started fighting and then I woke up. Um, January 8th. I woke up with my bottom teeth hurting. One by one they fell out and I started crying. Stefan and Sierra and Paul wanted to take me to the ER, but I called my mom and she said no, just go to the dentist. I kept looking in the mirror and saw nothing but gums and it was horrifying. January 9th. I was coming back from school, I did YouTube and friend was with me and Jessa was there and another friend was with me. So we go home on the bus and a woman, oh my gosh, I remember this, sorry, memory. Um, we are on a bus and the woman bus driver ra rage quitted and ran inside of McDonald's and wouldn't come out. JC from O2L, I don't know, don't ask, ran out and told me to drive the bus back to my old high school. So I do and everyone's laughing because we stole the bus basically and I'm driving it. It was hard to drive, but some maniac man wanted to kidnap me, so he tried to flip the bus with his little red car. We were swerving in and out of traffic, and finally we lost him. I parked the bus after driving eight hours, and we all talk. The guy comes out of nowhere and rams the bus, and it flips. Everyone's okay, but he tries to grab me, and I start running, and this girl runs with me. We jump in an abandoned car and drive away. He chases us, and we make it to the middle of this giant fancy hotel in the middle of nowhere. Our car breaks down, and, we, and he gets out of his car and comes at me with a gun. I somehow take it from him and point it at him. I told you this gets very detailed. A man from a hotel comes out and I realize I've, I'm dreaming and I've met this guy before in a different dream. This guy is a cannibal and he lures people into a nice hotel then kills them and eats them. He tells the guy 
that he should come inside and the guy gets all excited and goes in. The cannibal looks over at me and the girl and we jump in the guy's car and speed off. The stars looked so beautiful I just stared out the window while the girl drove. We drive and drive until we make it to this little town and it looks like slums. We need gas so we get out and walk around looking for a gas station. It is a very very dirty place with dead dogs everywhere. We walk past this one house and there's a bunch of kids at the door. I go and say hi and they all smile and goes, you're the girl with the Triforce tattoo, come inside. So I do and the mom and dad were young, like maybe 24 and they had five kids. They were talking about rationing food and I walked in and they were really really nice. The house was kind of big but didn't have any furniture and a small plank of wood for a table next to a bunch of tattered blankets with pillows. That's where the parents slept. One little boy grabs my hand and says, I want to show you my room. And he takes me up to these cold concrete stairs into his room, decorated with dinosaurs and dragon stuff. Dad walks in, blah, 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 blah. It's very detailed, I'm sorry. Um, I start to think maybe somehow I can send them food and stuff and ask for his address so I can visit again. Um, I make it back to my high school and I see the bus putting, putting along. I spelled that wrong. The car breaks down, so I run to the bus. They're all okay and said when the man left they just flipped the bus back over and JC drove. I jumped in with the girl and made it to school. Then I went home and my mom took Garrett and I shopping at Hot Topic Forever 21. Then somehow it, it changes to me and friend crashing on a plane and we're holding hands in each other. The plane crashes and my alarm goes off and wakes me up. Like I said, these dreams are really, really detailed. On January 10th, I had a dream I was sent to prison and Sierra and Edwin for some reason were with me and I was sent to an all girls one and I almost got in a fight then Sierra and Edwin came to visit then we went out and it transformed a college party thing and we were going back inside and this overly large girl walked past to Sierra and goes if you want cute girls like me to hit on you get rid of that ugly girl Coco oh ugly whore Coco and it looked at, and looked at me and ran off then another girl Sierra liked gave him a note that she liked him but knew that I was banging him loads and lots of other guys and she said everyone I knew Everyone knew I was a whore and they all called me Coco. I don't know. January 13th. I was a witch and all these other witches were trying to attack and control a military base. They start turning all the men against the civilians one by one but I kept stopping them. Then I went to this dorm room and this girl was there. She was being rude but I was being nice to her. She started breaking the wall even though I asked her to stop multiple times because it was a rented room. Everyone else in the room were mu musicians or photographers. The girl starts beating the small wall down to see the other people instead of just moving around it and I stood up started yelling at her. Blood drooled out of my mouth and I raised my hands and the room things in the room started to fly around and wind picked up everything and everyone was screaming. January 17th. I was a chosen one or something and was trying to escape this crazed woman who was a witch. What is with my witch dreams? Or something. I don't know. But it was someone and they led me to a sacred forest where a giant tree. Oh god I I remember this. It gave me nightmares for a really long time. There was a giant tree who helped people in need, so I went up to see her and to speak and knew why I was there and told me that I had to kill this witch was to blind her and have her head on the tree roots to make sure the witch's golden hair was over her eyes and the back of her head was open and then I, with an axe I chop her head open. Sure enough, the witch shows up and she loses her powers because the place is holy and witches are not, so the person with me grabs her and throws her on the tree branch and I lift the axe, but the witch yells and it was my mom's voice and I freak out and the tree says it's an axe and she's losing the power to hold the witch down and to keep her without her power. So I raise the axe again and slam it down and I hear a loud thud because I missed because I closed my eyes. I raise it again and had to watch as I swung the axe down and heard a sickening crack and the witch's head barely split open. I had to do it again and again and the blood poured out and the witch went limp. I laid on the ground and sobbed because the witch sounded like my mom and I felt like I just put an axe through my mom's skull. So yeah, these are nightmares. Anyway, January 25th. I had a really bad dandruff from using Pantene, so I had to go by head and shoulders. January 26th. Uh, all this flashes in, but I was talking to Damon and we are good friends. And then friends came over and gave me free sodas and had a brother who worked at the store but the manager came in and said, girl, you gotta order a sandwich. So then I ordered one. That is all my dreams of January. So now you saw into my mind and the dreams. I didn't have too many nightmares, which was good. And um, sometimes if I had a nightmare that was too bad, I didn't write it down because I, I don't want to remember things like that. Which is probably a good idea if I did write, will you stop beeping? That is my New Year's resolution. I'm doing pretty darn good at it, I'd like to think. Um, 
What were some of y'all's? Like, I'm gonna go to the gym. But did you? Because that was also one of mine, and I haven't touched anything. Actually, that's a lie. I got weights, and I lift weights. But not a lot. Anyway, so, uh, that was my dream journal, part one of 12. And, uh, that's if I continue it. Which I would like to, but hey, we'll see where this goes. Without further ado, I dropped my water bottle. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a fantastic day and all that fun stuff. Goodbye!